Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. I am Ma'am Gurley T. Manalansan, your science teacher. Today we will study the properties of gases. Let's start! We all know that most gases are invisible. Pwede nating matukoy ang nasa paligid natin kung ito ay solid o liquid, ngunit hindi ang gases. May ibang gases na nakikita at maraming gases ang hindi nakikita. Halimbawa nang nakikita ay ang usok na nililikha ng mga sasakyan. Sa unseen gases naman ay ang empty bottle, carbon dioxide na mahalaga sa photosynthesis, a ball sufficiently filled with air, we take in oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide at marami pang iba. Gases have neither a definite size nor definite shape. Wala itong tiyak na sukat o hugis. But gases take the shape of its container. Halimbawa natin ay ang balloons. Let us study the properties of gases o mga katangian ng gases. Compressibility. Gases are easy to compress. Next is expandability. Unlike solid and liquid, gases expand to fill their containers. Gases occupy more space. If you will notice in the figure, Gases occupy more space rather than liquid and solid. Gases have a very low density. That is because their particles are very far from each other. Halimbawa natin ay ang helium gas na inilalagay sa balloon. Helium gas is less dense than oxygen. Helium is monoatomic gas while oxygen is diatomic gas. Pag sinabing monoatomic gas, ito ay binubuo ng isang atom. And diatomic gas consists of two atoms. Balloons float because they are filled with helium. Wow! Gases can flow in all directions. Most gases are colorless. Some colorless gases are oxygen, nitrogen, and methane. But when other gases and chemicals are mixed, they produce different colors. There are properties of gases that can be measured. Number one is mass. It refers to the amount of gas or its mass, or a quantity of a gas present in a container. Patulad ng inflated balloon. Always remember that it could be expressed in moles or grams. Next property is volume. It is the amount of space occupied by the gases. The common units used in expressing the volume of a gas are liter and milliliter. Sa halimbawa natin, ang volume ay 22.4 liters. Kapag nag-add ng gas, the volume became 44.8 liters. The third property is temperature. It measures the hotness or coldness of an object. Remember that cool gas, fewer and less energetic collision, while hot gas, more and more energetic collision. It can be measured in Celsius or Kelvin. The last property of gases that can be measured is the pressure. It is the average effect of the forces of the colliding molecules. The picture depicts the low pressure and high pressure gases. It can be measured in atmosphere, tor, pounds per square inch, centimeters of mercury, or millimeters of mercury. Learners, do not forget the commonly used units for properties of gases as well as its equivalents. Commonly used units for volume SI unit, cubic meter 
cubic decimeter and cubic centimeter. For metric unit, we have liter and milliliter. English unit, quart and gallon. Volume units and their equivalents. 1 milliliter is equal to 1 cubic centimeter. 1 liter is tantamount to 1 cubic decimeter. And 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liters. Here are the commonly used units for pressure. For SI unit, Pascal. For metric unit, we have atmosphere, millimeters of mercury, centimeters of mercury. And for English unit, we have tor and pounds per square inch. Always remember the pressure units and their equivalents. One atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury is tantamount to 76 centimeters of mercury is equivalent to 760 tor is equal to 101,325 pascal and finally tantamount to 14.6956 pounds per square inch Temperature units and their equivalents. Always remember that 0 degrees Celsius is equal to 273.15 Kelvin and 0 degrees Celsius is tantamount to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Learners, let us have the summary of our lesson. We discussed the properties of gases and those are compressibility, expandability, gases occupy more space, gases have very low density, it can flow in all directions, and it is colorless. There are properties of gases that can be measured and those are mass, volume, pressure, and temperature. We also study the commonly used units of properties of gases and their equivalents. I hope you learned a lot for today's lesson. Enjoy learning because science matters. Good day!